Today we're discussing how to grow hydroponically. And I'm going to start here by discussing what I actually use to make my hydroponic solution. I have what's called 41836 fertilizer. I got a five pound bag of it from Morgan County Seed Company. This is what's called their master blend mix. I know this was discussed. I learned about it on Kang Star's channel and it also was discussed by MHP Gardner. It's a good mix. And so that is what the base is. I just add basically a plastic teaspoon worth of the stuff into my uh, container. And it's a gallon container. If I'm using a, a larger container that I'm actually mixing directly for the grow, you keep the ratios the same as the ratios that we are establishing here. Now one thing that I've noted is that a lot of emphasis is put on weighing out your nutrients uh, using a gram scale and getting precise measurements. I have found that I vary and I'm just using the spoon. Sometimes I have more of a heaping spoonful, sometimes I have less. My results are pretty good when I'm using the hydroponic solution even with that variance. So I, I wouldn't worry yourself about it unless perhaps you're doing a commercial grow or something where you really do need to be precise. Next I have calcium nitrate which I also ordered from Morgan County Seed Company. Again it comes in a five pound bag is what I ordered. You can get different sizes but a five pound bag of it. I just have some you know Epsom salt that I purchased from Walmart and I use generally about a half a spoonful of this Epsom salt right there, maybe a half a spoonful of it, and I mix it in as well. And that provides the base of what your hydroponic solution is going to be. From there, just add water in your gallon jug if that's what you're using, and that's the ratio that we measured out for. So just add water to it. Let me go ahead and get some water. So here's what that um, solution looks like when it's actually mixed together. It's uh, kind of this yellowish color, but it's uh, great for the plants. You can put it directly into whatever uh, growing vessel you're using. Another thing I sometimes do is I actually um, want to be able to spray this. So I have just one of these standard sprayers that you can get. You can either mix the solution directly in this sprayer or if you want you can pour your jug into it. Then the way this sprayer works you just pump air into it so even as it decreases in volume you can still use the sprayer. And then there is a nozzle attached to this hose here and you just press the uh, lever down and you can spray. Now that we've discussed creating a hydroponic solution, let's talk specifically about growing tomatoes hydroponically. To start the seeds I used rock wool which you see here behind the seed packet and I put it into an aluminum pan that had hydroponic solution in it. I put the pan under grow lights and the seeds actually started in the rock wool. And now about a month later, it's time to transfer the tomato to a growing container. So let's make it. I've marked a circle on here that is the bottom of this net cup. And this is just a baby food container. So I drill a bit that's actually only the one inch and this is a two inch hole. So let's go ahead and get started. The hole started, and um, now we've got some shears. I proceed to spend a good long time wrestling with scissors and a drill and the box knife 
But while you're amused by watching me do that, I'll point out a much better way to do this actually would be to step up your drill bit. Start with a very small hole and then just keep getting a bigger and bigger hole until you're at the size that you need. Then it is less likely to actually crack out the plastic on the top here and you'll have a much cleaner, smoother, more professional hole. Also, I am using a two inch net cup here. For this size of a container, a smaller net cup would actually be more appropriate. But regardless of what size of net cup you ultimately use, the theory here is the same. We're going to put the rock wool that we started the tomato in into that net cup with the tomato that's ready to grow out, suspended with its roots going into the hydroponic solution. So it's far from pretty. I think we're just going to go for it at that. Things here and um, put her down in there. Now you see here that I actually choose to put the entire tomato stem down into the hydroponic solution. Stick it out of this thing and drop it way down in there. You're going to go like this. And it's just going to be dangling there like that. So we can just fill this in with these pebbles. There we go. Now you may remember that you've actually already seen this tomato after about a month more growth under the grow lights in this homemade hydroponic container. We gave it a big haircut. With its top cut off, it was ready to move into a larger growing container. So that's what we did. Look at those outstanding roots. And this is nothing compared to what they're going to get in this bucket. Now you'll see that there's a hole cut out of the top and the roots will just kind of hang down in there. We're using what's known as the crap key method, where we don't have an air pump that's going to keep the water circulating and put air into it, but instead the roots just hang down into the water there. And as the water level goes down, the roots actually develop what are called air roots that allow the plant to breathe above the water line. And we want to make sure that when we fill this back up, if it starts to go low, we don't fill the water all the way up to the stem, but instead leave some space for those air roots to breathe. I hope you have enjoyed this video on growing tomatoes hydroponically. Please remember to hit the like button below. And if you are not already subscribed to this channel to see more updates on this tomato plant and the many other things that we're growing, please hit subscribe now.